Hey everyone, it's Coach Kina here. Welcome to your advanced class. It is our video game theme. Um, so we got Toad, Mario, and Luigi. Or no. Hey guys, what is that dinosaur game again? What is the dinosaur name in Mario, Luigi? Yoshi. Yoshi. Thank you. It is Yoshi there uh, with us today. And for the first thing, is we're actually gonna play the Temple Run game, but the live gymnastics version. So a Temple Run, remember, where you get chased by an angry gorilla monster person and you're just continuously running and jumping over things, ducking under things as obstacles get put in your way. So let's get started with a video game theme and run. Run in place, awesome. The first one is a log. That's where you jump over the log. Uh, good, awesome, jump over the log. Log, jump, jump, good. Tunnel is where you're on your belly. And tunnel, good. You hop back up and start running again. Yep, good job. Next one is a slide. So you're on your back, arms over, and that slide. And stand back up. And then the last one is tornado, and that's just a jump, full turn. Good. Okay, ready to play? Awesome, start running. Good, and log, 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 tunnel, slide. And run, tornado. Good, log, slide. Tornado. Awesome, okay, take a break. The next level that we're gonna do is actually turn, turn those tunnels into arch rockers and the slides into tuck ups and the uh, full twist, the tornado into a full twisting tuck jump. Okay, here we go. Play the same rules, but when I say uh, tunnel, it's the arch rockers Slide is the tuck jumps, and the tornado is a full twisting tuck. All right, here we go. Ready, set, run. Awesome. First one is our tornado, full twisting tuck jump. Here we go. And then continue running, do high knees now. Awesome. And a slide. So on your back, and then it's actually three tuck ups. So hollow body, tuck, hollow body, tuck, hollow body, tuck. Awesome. And then try to kick your bottom here. Good. Keep going. And tunnel on your belly. And it's three arch rockers. One, two, three. Good. And then log, which remains unchanged. Log. Log. And then continue to run high knees. Almost done with this round. And we just got one more. Awesome, run as fast as you can. Fast feet and freeze. Good work. One last round. You got it. Take a breather now before we get to our next one. Whew. Pretend you're resting in a cave in the game, but the gorilla monster is looking around for where you are. And we, so we gotta continue to run and get to our final uh, ending location where we can stretch. All right, you ready? Set. He's there. You gotta start running. Run. High knees, butt kickers. Good, and slide. One, two, three, tunnel. Arch rockers. Good, tornado. Good, can you run? Run, 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 log, 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 tunnel. Two, three. 
tornado, tornado, and slide. And you can need to run. Good. Run as fast as you can. And freeze. You made it to your last stop. It's time to stretch. Reach up tall. Standing pike stretch. Good. Come on down into a squat. Awesome. Butterfly. Nose to toes. Scoot your feet out even more. Try to get your nose to your Heels this time. Awesome. Straddle over to one side. Hold it here just for a little bit. Good. Switch sides. Good. Reach forwards. Pancake stretch. Straddle pancake. And come on out. It is splits time. Small knees, tall knees, a little lunge. Sweet, grab that back foot. Try to get that heel to your bottom. And hold it here. Good, and let it go. Lean forwards. You should feel the stretch mostly in your front leg. And then slide it out into splits. Cool heel, hold it here for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Back and oops, back into small knees. Tall knees, other leg lunge. Sometimes you actually develop which leg you like to stretch first. For me, it's usually my right. Maybe for you, it's usually your left. Who knows? Grab that back foot and try to get it to your bottom and lean forwards. Drop the back leg, lean forward again and try to get a nice stretch in that front leg. Good, slide it out into splits. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, come on out, shake it out. Boom, it's middle splits time, just like that. We are in middle splits in three, two, one. Middle splits and hold it here. Let's hold it for 15 seconds this time. Five, four, three, two, don't come out. We got 10 more seconds, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come on out, shake it out some more. Good work, it is bridges time. How about do three bridges on your own? The things to work on with bridges is bridge rocker. So that's where you try to get your feet up off the ground and then your shoulder or your hands and then your feet and then your hands and then your feet and then your hands. You're kind of rocking back and forth. Or you can do one leg up in the air and then hop on that bottom leg, okay? So three bridges on your own. Ready, set, go. That was my first bridge. Here's my second. Maybe I'll do the leg up. And I can try to hop. And that last one, I'll leave you to it. Again, you can do the bridge rockers or the leg up again or just a regular bridge. Awesome, you did it. Good job, go get some water. Water break. Next thing we're gonna do is our jump handstands and our round off. All right. <clears throat> so for your jump handstand, go ahead and work on our tuck jump handstands. So that looks like this. Just tuck and then handstand and then come on out. Remember not to do the arch in the handstand. We do not want any of these. Okay? All right, here we go. Tuck up, handstand, let's do 10, and then we'll do 10 straddle ups. Okay. Nice, straight body line. If you don't make it, that's okay. Just make sure your 
back stays nice and rounded. That's seven for me. Make sure you keep your toes pointed, arms straight. Okay, there's your 10 tuck handstands. The last thing, 10 straddle ups. Same concept, you gotta keep your nice body shape of a handstand straight up and down, but this time you're gonna straddle up. So feet together in the beginning, and then they go into a straddle up in the air. Just like that. All right. If you're still working on it, you can just do a little bit of a jump and try to get your bottom up first and then your legs. Okay. 10 of those as well. That was five for me. I got two more. Mm. Woohoo! There's your 10. Take a breather. I gotta fix my shirt. And then the last thing for this part before we do a water break and our routines is a round off practice. So go ahead and have a, have a seat. And with the round offs, you really gotta make sure you're using your shoulders to push off the ground as soon as your hands touch. Okay, so you just, you can run into it, hurdle, round off. As soon as your hands touch the ground, that's when you really gotta push with your shoulders. Okay, so everybody put your arms up and then think about shrugging your shoulders, push with your shoulders off the ground. And that is how you get some power out of that round off, even at home. I am not on a spring floor. This is just a regular padded mat. So you will see how much power I can get and you can try to get just the same amount at home. Okay, let's do, well, I like the number 10. That'll be our number today. 10 round offs. Think about pushing off the ground with your shoulders. Okay, here we go. As soon as my hands touch, I push. And you can even think about round, uh, rebounding out of it. All right, it's two for me. Even though I'm starting from pretty much standing, uh, I really use my shoulders big muscles part of my body to push the ground. All right, it doesn't really work if you just push with your fingertips. These are really small, tiny muscles. These ones are much bigger. Seven. Eight, two more for me. Ten. If you stumble backwards, that's actually good because that means you got some power generated. All right, once you're done with your 10, go and get some water and I'll meet you back here. How about we meet in Straddle Pancake? All right, go get some water and then meet me back in Straddle Pancake. All right, you should be in straddle pancake once you're done with your water. And actually for this next part is our routine. So if you need that pillow for your handstand warm down, go ahead and grab the pillow. All right, 
and we're going to get started with our routine. Let's do five routines today. And for all five, think about your pointed toes, your straight knees, your straight arms, and also where the camera is usually uh, placed in the live class when we perform these routines. Actually, not this week, but next week, uh, similar to how we did it for our past performances. And if you weren't here before for that one, we're just gonna record your class uh, routine uh, in the live class. You can always opt out, you don't have to be a part of it or you can re record your routine outside of a live class as well, okay? So let's practice our five and think about how we want that to look for the recording. We really wanna make sure these are uh, more polished this time around so that we can see all the skills the whole, the whole time. Actually, this advanced class did pretty well with the performance. Okay, here we go. Five practice rounds, go get that pillow if you need it. I'm gonna try today without the pillow. Okay, the first thing that we do is the first letter of your first name in sign language. For me, it's K for Coach Kina, K-I-N-A, K. And then the next thing is a jump of your choice. I'm gonna do a full twisting straddle jump. Has to be a full twisting jump, I believe. Oops, this way. And then a round off. Hurdle round off, just like we practice. Walk back. Whoops, it's actually a handstand worm down. We're gonna try to do that fake out. And then it's that cool stand up where you put one leg in front of the other, and kind of rock back up. And then it is actually a skill of your choice. Today, for my routine, I'm actually going to do a uh, handstand pirouette. All right. Okay. Four of these, four more. Ready, set, go. Round off. Pretending like you're walking, like it ain't no thing. Oop, handstand, warm down. Cool, stand up, and then a skill. Your choice. That's two, not three more. We'll take a breather after this next one. Round off, walk back, handstand, worm down. Cool, stand up, skill of your choice. Awesome. Okay, take a breather, and then you got two more, and really think, okay, how do I want this routine to look? Where's the camera? How straight are my legs? How pointed are my toes? All right. That is your break. You got two more. Here we go. Next time when we do the live performance, it's going to seem like pie when you just have to do one. Okay. Handstand worm down is next. Cool, stand up, stand, pirouette. Cool, last one, give it your all. I'm gonna try to not even touch my face in the whole thing, okay? It doesn't look as nice when you see performers touch their face the whole time. <laughs> There's the beginning. Worm down. Cool, stand up. And then my skill. All right, you did it. Go get some water. And then it's our fun game. 
as our conditioning. Okay. For this next game, we are gonna build a house. So with our house building, like a lot of these open play games are like, like, you know, like Roblox or Minecraft or Animal Crossing or Stardew Valley, they all kind of build a house out of some building materials, which I have here. And in order to do your house building, you're gonna need some wood blocks, a door, a stove to cook stuff with, and a window. And in order to get these things, you're gonna do some skills, okay? For the wood blocks, we're gonna do 10 full twisting tuck jumps. Theme of today's class is these full twisting tuck jumps, or full twisting jumps. The next one is 10 pike jumps for the door. And then we're gonna do 10 forward rolls, actually for the stove. And then the last thing is 10 jump handstands for the window. All right, here we go. Let's get to it. The first thing is 10 full twisting tuck jumps for those wood blocks and go. That's two for me, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, last one, 10. All right, give you a second there if you need to catch up. And you did it, 10 wood blocks. Woohoo, there you go. Getting started on building this house. The next thing is 10 pike jumps for the door. Got to work for it. 10 pike jumps, here we go. Try to connect them even. And 10. You got the door, door for your house. Next thing is 10 forward rolls. Do not use your hands to stand up. Here we go. Two, three, four, five, Six, do it for the stove, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Did it. There's your stove for your house. Last thing is the window. Ten jump handstands. Attempts are fine. You don't have to make it to handstand each time, but ten of them. Here we go. This is conditioning, so we gotta move a little bit faster than normal. 10 jump handstand attempts. One, two. You can also do tuck up ones if you want. did it here is your window boom which I think is like this <laughs> your window you built your house you did your conditioning you earned yet another virtual high five for this class again I'm coach Kina I'll see you around next time bye